All right, this is going to be the official demo for the Insurance Toolkit's lead platform as of August 2023. So three main components. When you first go on to insurancetoolkits.com, you can go to the leads landing page, um, review some of the information about the actual leads platform itself, um, or if you'd like, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, lead training demo with me specifically, and I can go over everything from A to Z on the lead platform. Uh, so you're going to go to the sign up page, just like you would if you were signing up for the uh, the toolkit. If you already have an account, you can just reach out to me in the email that's going to be down in the description, or you can head over to insurancetoolkits.com and click this little live chat function right here, and you can request access to it. We'll just go ahead and enable the leads platform on your account. Once you type in your personal information, you can either A, select the agent or agency plan, if you do one of those two, again, you can email me and I can enable the leads platform on your account or you can utilize the live chat function on our website and we can um, give you access there. Or if you're interested only in purchasing leads from us, you can scroll down a little bit more and select the leads platform. The leads platform in and of itself is completely free. The only time that you would pay anything is if, of course, you placed an order. Um, keep in mind that you do not have access to the uh, underwriting tools from the actual toolkit side. With the Leads Platform subscription, you get both the CRM and the Leads Platform, and again, that's it. So once you sign up for the Leads Platform, you will then go ahead and log in, and you will notice at the very top of your page, you're going to have a tab uh, labeled Leads. So when you click on the Leads, this video is going to be specifically for the Lead Platform. Um, there's only three main components. is going to be creating your campaigns, loading funds, and then placing orders. And then outside of that, you can go have fun selling. So first and foremost, you can click on the leads type here. You can hover over the information icons. You can read a little bit more about the leads, expected closing ratios, replacement policies, how some of the leads are generated, those sorts of things. And then if you hover over the information icon next to the campaign page, we give you um, a little bit more insight as to some incentivized um, lead dispositioning that we offer to you guys, some rebates, um, those sorts of things that you can read about here. Um, so you can also click the drop down arrow and this is where the be the most important. Um, I don't know if it'll show up on the actual video that you guys are seeing, but if you just simply click the drop down arrow, um, it'll show you each type of lead. So you can kind of select between the different types, uh, whether it's shared, exclusive, whether it's final expense, whether it's Medicare, whether it's ACA, um, you can kind of select between the two <clears throat> or between the three rather. And then each uh, price per lead is associated next to it. So for example, if you wanted to buy a shared final expense lead statewide, you click on that, it's only $8 per lead. If you wanted to buy an exclusive Medicare lead statewide, it's only $15 per lead, you would select that. Um, and then you're gonna notice here some boxes to fill out. The, the first thing to note is that the ones that have the little red asterisks next to it, those are required boxes to fill out. And then of course, the ones that don't, um, those are optional. So you would select your lead type, you can select the state, um, you can select the quantity of leads, your name as the agent, um, and then you can type in your email. So Colton, we'll just make up some uh, email here. And then if you want to receive email notifications, so every time a lead comes in, because remember our leads are real time, so both the campaign is created in real time once you place the order, and the corresponding leads that are generated from that campaign are delivered to you in real time. Um, so we're trying to optimize the ability for you to be the first agent to get a hold of that prospect by doing so. Um, so if you want to receive those notifications via email, just simply enable this by highlighting it in yellow. You click on it once to turn it off, once to turn it on. And then if you want to push those same leads into the CRM that you will have access to with the leads platform, um, you can also enable that here. So these are automatically turned off by default. So if you want to make sure that those leads are notified in your email inbox and push to your CRM so you can have access to those, do your dispositions and track everything, turn those on. If you would like to get those uh, numbers sent to you via, or those leads sent to your cell phone number, just type in your number here, whatever your number may be. Um, and then if you want to have a portrait that you of you as the agent sent to that prospect in the confirmation email that we send uh, once the prospect submits that form um, for the lead, we can also send that to the prospect. You can go to different websites. If you just go online and to Google and type in um, online image hosting or something of that nature, you can go and find ways to upload your picture online. And all you would do is just copy the URL 
right here. So um, that would be pasted in the URL box. Of course, that's not required. Um, and then we have an inbound number as well as one of the integrations that we have is with Go High Level. So if you guys want to um, have your leads not only sent to your email or your insurance toolkit CRM, but if you also want them sent to your Go High Level, if you guys already have a, an account with them, Go High Level is a CRM. Um, you would go to your settings and you would um, get your API key, which is a, a long series of, of letters and numerical digits that you could then send to us um, via pasting it into this box. So when a new lead comes into your campaign, it won't just be sent to your phone and your email and your insurance toolkit CRM, but it's also going to be instantaneously dropped into your Go High Level CRM, again, to optimize your performance, to make sure that you're able to track everything and what you already use. Um, we want to make sure that you guys are having ease of use. And then, of course, speed to contact is the most important metric for working these leads. So that's that's the exclusive campaigns. Now, if I switch to a shared campaign, let's say shared Medicare, for example, you'll notice that some of the options go away. So at this point, um, we don't offer the SMS delivery or the inbound or the URL, but we still offer the go high level um, delivery method with the shared leads as well. Um, keep in mind, you can also do uh, a county specific. So if I go to, let's say, exclusive final expense county specific, you're going to see here now that I can select, let's say, Ohio as my state. I could go in here and I can either manually manually type them in or I can just kind of scroll through here and I can select multiple addresses. The one thing that I wanted to mention here that I hope you guys notice is it says here towards the bottom um, of the page, the minimum population requirement has not been met. We have this requirement in place so that your order can be filled in a timely fashion, which for us is 24 to 72 hours. All orders are going to be fulfilled. And then it also says, please select more counties and contact us if you need assistance. So basically, um, Adams County, Athens, and this third county here, um, I don't want to say the name incorrectly, are not eliciting enough of a 65 plus population in those three counties to, to ensure that we're going to be fulfilling your order in that timely manner of 24 to 72 business hours. Um, so if I go down here and add a few more, you can now see that that notification has gone away. Um, so just for those of you out there, um, the reason that we put in red that if you're having issues, contact us. Let's say that you are only able to work one or two counties. Um, I'll take off these bottom three. And you're only able to work these two counties. Um, what we would do is then have you email us. We would have you select additional counties just so you could fulfill the requirement. And then once the order is uh, placed, you can just email us and say, hey, I don't want to work in this county, this county, and this county, and I'm aware that it may take a little longer for my campaign to be filled, and then that's no problem. We'll make sure to get your leads to you in a timely manner. So that's how you create a campaign. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, but I like to explain it in depth. Um, of course, the second portion of this is going to be managing the funds. Very, very simple. Whatever card is tied to your account here, so if I click account, and then I click on subscription, there's going to be a credit cards tab here. It's going to show your credit card information here. Now, if I go back to leads and I go to manage funds, that's going to be the card that's automatically charged. So if I click add funds, let's say I type in 1500. As soon as I click confirm, it's going to instantaneously add funds to my account. This balance here will go from zero to 1500. And then you have the freedom to then go and place your orders. Um, we do have a no refund policy, so make sure that you're not overfunding your account. Um, just keep that on you know, the forefront of your mind. And then the third portion, of course, is once you've managed your funds and loaded them, you've uh, calculated which leads you're going to buy, then you go ahead and actually place the order. So um, you would type in, let's just say 25 leads. You type in your name, uh, your email, your API key here. You can turn those on, and then you click submit. Once you click submit, the campaigns are going to show up as an active campaign down here. And at that point, you just sit back and wait for the leads to arrive. And then you go have fun selling. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, or if, if you want to go on our website here and use the live chat function, you can uh, contact us there. Instantaneous responses. And I will make sure to get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate your time today.